All right, so here we are, our first major trip. We'll call it a range test. We'll see how close we get to zero in the Model Y rear wheel drive here in Australia. We're going from the Riverland down to Middleton, which is on the south coast. Nice surf there. Maybe not this weekend. This weekend's for a wedding. But uh, we'll be stretching it. There's only one chance to charge along the way, so we'll have to make up our minds. But 150 k's into the 300 k trip. Are we going to fill up in Murray Bridge, or are we going to continue on, <clears throat> stretch it out to Middleton, where hopefully we can trickle in a charge with 8 amps at the uh, Airbnb. So, here we go. We shall see, and we'll keep you posted. All right, so ready to go. Batteries at 100%, charged on the solar today, of course. Uh, Preconditioned, ready to go. We'll put in our details here. Navigate, Middleton, let's see what we come up with, how do I do this, there we go, Middleton, so it's suggesting a 20 minute charge and tail and bend, if we remove the charging stops, what are we left with, 5% on arrival, Stay below 95 kilometers an hour to reach destination. Look, we'll review it at 50% there. Um, <clears throat> so this is saying 300 k's. We're only going to have 5% left if we drive 95 kilometers an hour. We'll have a C. Uh, by the time we get into tail and bend there, well, maybe that's even 200 k's into it, isn't it? Um, so let's add that back in. How many k's to tail and bend? Not going to tell me directly. Uh, 210k so we'll have a review there coming into tail and bend at 200k see if we uh, need to charge up otherwise I will keep you posted just between Barry and Loxton we've got high water here and a beautiful sunset they're thinking in the week they'll have to close this road because the water coming down the Murray but uh, we get the honor of a beautiful flooded sunset otherwise looking good so far Charging like a boss. Look at all the schmutzen. So we've stopped here at Tail and Bend. We're at 32%. We uh, preconditioned because we navigated here. And uh, we're ticking up to 170 kilowatts. 168, I think it peaked at. And now we're leveling out. Quick toilet stop. Clean this filthy windshield made worse by the auto wipers, of course on autopilot and uh, see how we go then we head off what do we got we um, minus five percent so we'll says charge ten minutes and then we are on our way so let's do that see it eight amps there Whoop. eight amps 24 hours for a charge see how that goes I since we stopped for a uh, cleaning the schmutz off the windshield and um, a toilet stop uh, we got what we spent maybe five ten minutes there just enough for a toilet stop really and then we headed off and then I hooned at the last bit of the trip still 141 watt hours per kilometer fantastic so we'll charge this overnight get her going give her a tip for it and we'll be off to a wedding tomorrow over and out hello just a bit of a summary here of uh the trip <clears throat> we we ended up charging on the way down out of tail and bend it was looking kind of there's going to be five percent or less on the on the battery and like i mentioned there was no charging one that last 100 k's there's there's no option to charge early so we uh went to tail and bend it's a little bit out of our way which is why you got that negative negative percentage for arrival um <clears throat> we could have made it through and looking at the efficiency the efficiency for the whole trip stayed around that 155 to 165 watt hours per kilometers on the highway the trip home we had dreadful winds we had uh, kind of 60k gusts um, we had a tailwind for some of it, but a crosswind for a lot of it, and uh, it worked out that we probably didn't lose any efficiency. And <clears throat> looking at our trip, 
Um, the round trip includes a bit extra there, but you can see uh, trip A is what we're looking at there. And 157 watt hours per kilometer was our round trip efficiency. And that uh, seems to be reflective of the 110 kilometer an hour um, sitting. That one, one was at night uh, on the way down and then, and then daytime traveling on the way back. So uh, I'll use that projection in future trips and hopefully I will do a full 100% to zero um, and then combine that with uh, with a, a DC fast charge at tail and bend, the V3 supercharger there. And hopefully we can hit the more than 170. It seems <clears throat> the, the, this LFP pack's pretty capped at 170. We hit 171 preconditioned at 30% there. But I wonder whether we can do a little better than that um, or if that's the absolute cap. So we'll have a look at that. We'll try and do a full range test uh, once I get the uh, Blue Eddy ground adapter thing in the mail. The last one I ordered didn't work, so we can't really charge up on that. <clears throat> and then I found some sand dunes. Hopefully we'll uh, see if this thing needs a uh, rescue with the cruiser. Um, but uh, see how it goes in sand. I don't know if there's been any rear-wheel drive sand tests, but uh, it can't be that good. So... We'll keep you posted. Hopefully, we got some more videos coming, and uh, and uh, don't subscribe because my videos are are pretty garbage. So just leave that off. Thanks. All right. Catch you next time. Thanks for tuning in.